Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. Sorry, <laughs> just got a little MG just in the way there, trying to sneak in. How's everybody doing today? If you're not already, go on and hit that subscribe. Like, what are y'all waiting for? I see you 68% not subscribed in my analytics. That's okay though, I get it, I get it. It does do a big help though, I ain't gonna lie. So today, quick fast, let's, we have three things. It's not that, it's not a lot of products, but um, we do have some PR. So I love when I can get a few, at least a few. I need at least three. That's my minimum in my brain to do a little PR haul. So I do have three in. Um, so I definitely want to show you guys all together in a little lump sum. So we have three brands. Um, I do work with all these brands. I do love all these brands. They are in my studio all the time. They're in my studio before I started working with them and they're in my studio currently. So let's start out with, you know what, let's just start it with Madame Glam. She already wanted to peek her head in here. She's real cute. So Madame Glam, guys, if you're unfamiliar, is a gel polish brand. Now, this gel polish brand is special because, besides that they literally come out with new collections every month. Like, I, it's, it, it, it'll be a problem, just put it like that. Like, if you're somebody who already has a smidge of a shopping problem, and you go over to Madame Glam, the new arrivals every month, like, they'll get you. But, but, the thing about this though, if you actually become a VIP with Madame Glam, you can save 50%, so all their polishes are like 10 bucks rather than their, like, 20 bucks, right? So... Not bad if you go that way. But I do want to say they are vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 formula free, sorry, <laughs> 21 formula free, and they are HEMA free. I always say HEMA, that's what I think how you pronounce it. Let me know in the bottom below how do you pronounce it. If I ask Google, it says HEMA. Um, but I guess people say HEMA too. Who knows? Anyway, so if you have allergies or anything like that, um, it's a good brand. To go with so this is a little behind they have early access actually too if you're a vip member they have early access right now for their new collection this is last month's collection house of color so last month's collection is house of color this is a house of color bundle but right now early access and that is if you are a vip um the house of fun collection is actually available right now so but you know that though if, if you're a vip but you, so you can get these little guys now, which is great. So, so these came out in June. This is June's collection, and the House of Color really is just like legit beautifully. But the House of Fun, like, oh, it's just as good. That, the last three collections, I feel, has been like perfect summer collections for Madame Glam. So here we are, here are some of the beauties. Let's do a quick swatch of them. There's only four colors, not too, too craze. Okay, so let's start with Your Sublime. Oh, my bottle came scratched. It's okay, I guess. That might annoy my life, but it's fine. That is gorgeous. This is like a straight perfect lime green. You're sublime. Okay. Don't want to go too thick. You want to be pretty thin layers. And you can definitely get one coat coverage with Madame Glam, but realistically, two thin layers is always better. Like, it, it just always is better. For a swatch, I'm just gonna do one lip coat though, because that is how pigmented they are. All these bottles are 15 ml. Don't mind us this one. It happens, guys, like... Oh, son of a biscuit. This one here, gorgeous. Now, I do feel, I'll pop up a picture, and maybe it's just my picture, who knows, my phone something. It looks a little bit more greenish on the photo, but it's definitely yellow. So it is called the Star. And this is what I'm gonna use in my next design on my hand, because my hands have been just naked for too long, and I just can't. So this yellow, I want to use this. Ooh, so pretty some bumblebee nails so definitely going to oh yeah that's so pretty 
Look at this soft yellow. Okay. Oh, my apologies. There we are. That's gorgeous. Again, there's a smidge of shadowing, but that's one coat. So, and again, you're going to want to do two coats, guys. Set that in there. This color was everything. This is Live Colorful. It is like an orange, but it has like a fuchsia-y, almost reddish. I don't know. Let's see the color of it. So this is what you're getting on top. Again, all of Madame Glamour swatch tabs on top. So they're great for in drawers or on display. I have mine on display on my wall, but they are great for drawers if you don't have the storage because they have color swatches and they are very um, comparable to what is inside. Who starts to swatch and doesn't even get like a little product to clean up? You know why? Because I actually wasn't going to swatch. I think that was my... I don't, I don't think I was going to. But they're so pretty. Might as well just do it one time. Sorry, guys. Here you are. Like... Oh, phenomenal. In there. Take out these two beauties. Again, I'm just going to do the one coat, guys. Um, but definitely do two coats. Do two coats if you are doing it on yourself. But because it's just a swatch... And their color swatch tabbed on top. This is perfectly fine for my my standard. But look at it though, like you legit see what color it is. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sorry. I have a moment. Like I I love Madame Glam polishes. I truly, truly do. And they do. Okay, so even if let's say I get it, ten bucks is still a lot. You know what I mean? Not everybody can swing ten dollars a polish. So that is when you get your VIP. And when you're VIP, you don't get extra coupons. You're not usually allowed to use extra coupons, so it's usually ten bucks. But they're very discounted, and they do have a lot of discounts all the time. So there's definitely qualities of being a being a VIP with Madame Glam. And when you pay into it, um, I think it's like thirty dollars a month in my end Canadian. It saves your money for you. So you, I can use that next month. I personally allow mine to save up for three months. Don't, don't judge me. That's what my pocket will allow me. Um, and then I'll go in and see what's good. And it, yeah, I usually make sure I have a little, a little 50 or a little something, you know, to go towards it too and really get a good amount of polishes, which I just did recently. I actually bought their perfect collection. So maybe in one shake of a lamb here. What sorry, what color was that? Living colorful. This one is pink madness. I apologize guys. Pink madness. So I'm gonna let that one cook. Now technically this is not PR and I don't think I actually was going to show you in this. I was gonna show you in No, actually I lie. I'm not gonna show you here. We're not. I'm gonna do a big Madame Glam haul. <laughs> You'll have to wait for that. So next, oh sorry, before we get Matt MG out the way, uh, Madam Glad. oh I was wanted to say, that's what I was saying, guys, I literally, my brain, there's so much going on in there, I forget. With the bottles, I'm, I keep grabbing that little bottle, with the bottles, again you kind of came a little, alright, do better though, do better. 50%, hmm, they need to do better on that. Um, they do have, if you can't afford the $10, I get it, I get it, I get it. Like I said, if you're not a VIP, they have discounts all the time. I have a discount code, automatically gives you 30% off, which is a great, great discount. Um, and they have a lot of specialties when there's holidays, we'll get 50% discount code, so you can use that as well. But they have mini ones, and let me just grab what I have. Oh, here we are right here. So just in case, it is what it is, guys. 10 bucks is a lot. Um, if you don't want to go down that rabbit hole, but you really want to try Madame Glam and you want to be a part of, you know, the Glam Squad, they have little minis. So you can do, now this is 3.5, very average of the smaller bottles, um, the exactly same formula, everything like that, the same Hamer Free, um, vegan, cruelty -free, vegan cruelty free, Hamer Free 21 formula free, palm oil free. So the palm oil or the 21 formula in Hamer are like really, really important. I love that it's vegan. And look, they put a bunny on it, and I actually have a bunny. His name is Blue, so that just makes me feel sweet. Um, but exactly the same formula. They're just smaller bottles. Literally, that's all it is. They are not swatch-tabbed, but they do actually have the name on top, which I actually prefer. 
So if you're gonna give me a mini, at least I can put it in the drawer and I can see the name. And you know what, we have those little tabs. You can put a color card tab on top and still get the name and be in your drawer. Or you have it on your label, put on shelves. I have mine again on shelves. So even the minis live up there. So mom lamb got you either way. Like we get it, we all need to tighten the coins because realistically we can't afford to eat. Like groceries are ridiculous. So right now we might need to get some minis. Okay, sorry. But like I said, if you're a Glam member, um, there's a lot of benefits of that as well. So here is Pink Madness and a li what, Live Colorful. Gorgeous, too, too gorgeous. So I'm so happy to have those four in my collection. Thank you again, Madam Glam. And here's what they are top coated. I just wanted to show you the proper, but again, guys do two coats. Don't just do one coat. But it's just a swatch. On a swatch, that's perfectly fine. We're done with MG. All the codes, everything will be in my description. My gloves like to toot. Um, <laughs> now that we are done with Madam Glam, let's move on to another brand that is been in my studio honestly since day one. My very first drill actually was Melody Susie, and it was their little. Um, it was purple. My mom actually has it now. <laughs> um, it was purple, and it, was, it did have a cord. It kind of felt like one of those little hand handless or cordless ones now, but it did have a cord attached. Didn't know the speeds, didn't know nothing, but it worked, and it was very affordable. They still have a version of that today, but they definitely up their ante when it comes to their drills. Uh, they're gorgeous. So my second drill with them was actually the Scambler, which is a great drill. She works perfectly fine, guys. Perfectly fine. I love her. Um, when you're storing your drill, always have a bit in it. So I just put um, the thing for the sanding band. There's a name for it. I just can't think of it. Um, yeah, so always store it. So this one is a little bit heavier, but I am actually using the Jade right now. I let that old girl take a rest. Um, and right now I'm actually using the Jade. So I've have my scambler as my secondary drill so if the jade conks out on me then I do have it back up um, again gorgeous she's a lot lighter handpiece is a lot lighter and a bit smaller so it's not as heavy I like to put a grip tape if you're wondering what that is that's just like a grip tape like a hockey tape uh, on Amazon something like that type that in you'll get something like that these are a little slippery in my honest opinion this one needs to be replaced anyway so I'll take this off just to show you um yeah they're just metal now i'll clean that off but they do have a little grip for them and that's perfectly fine i just like a little grip i don't know it gives a little cushioning it makes me feel comfortable when i like i almost drill like this so it leans right so they're not that crazy but it does have metal so it can be sanitized and cleaned very easily without this remember this is cloth so it's going to collect your dust and stuff so do change it frequently. I right now honestly only use my drill on myself and my hand. So that little thing I don't really need to change as often as I would if I'm using it on somebody else. Ow. But they do have, um, it is metal for a reason. So it's very easily to be disinfected. So that's their drill that I use right now. And I absolutely love her. She's very light. Like this is so light compared to, to Betsy over here, um, the scambler. So again, a little bit of size. Let me pull you out. Don't drop your hand piece. Um, a little bit different in size. So, sorry, I know that this is not PR from them right now. But I want to be truthful. Sorry, guys. I want to be truthful with you about the products that I use. So, when I say that I use a product for a very long time and I love it, that means I really do love it. I'm not just saying it because I work with it. And these three brands I worked with for quite some time, honestly good majority of my channel melody susie i would say is um, the most recent but the other two since the very beginning of my channel they've been supporting me and i'm so so grateful so thank you thank you thank you to all the brands that i work with um but yes if you see it here more than half honestly if you see it here more than two three times then i can legit say i like it right but i'm always down to try something new so we have the dust collector now this is a beautiful box. Let me bring you out a smidge again. So she big. And you might be thinking, okay, Crystal, yeah, you do have two drills by them. And both well, three technically, but I did give my mom the little one. I need to get her probably the jade. I think it'd be good for her. It's good to actually see. I do recommend, I know that they can be more, but I think the scrambler is actually a little bit cheaper than the jade. 
they can be more I get it um, if you can't afford it then go with the other little guys she's like pink or purple she's really cute I'll put her in the description um, but when you're learning nails it's really important to know your speeds like you're not there yet where you can feel your speed and I feel like this some of the cheaper versions um, don't have the LED screens so by doing that you're taking way more of a risk of actually hurting yourself and damaging your nail because you don't know your speed so it's hard to learn when you say okay let's go three um, um, whatever that is. How does it come up? Okay, our MPs. Oh, sorry. So yeah, so you want to make sure. Let me do this one. She's over there. So you want to make sure that you know that your KR MPs, right? So if you're on three, say if I'm teaching and I'm like, okay, yeah, try to keep your drill at this, then you can know. With the other one, unfortunately, she literally looks like a hand piece. Like I said, I'll put a picture up, and the cord is like this, and that's what plugs in, and you just up your switch or your dial to know how fast you're going. Again, unfortunately, she doesn't have a thing. So she'll work for the meantime, but you can definitely hurt yourself with those types. So I recommend save up a little. Ask everybody, hey, this is what I really want. Save up for your Christmas money, birthday money, whatever, whatever, and try to get one of the, one with a screen. One with the screen is ideal. That's really what I'm saying for beginners. Make sure it has a screen, ideally, if you can. Okay, I'm over that. I didn't mean to go on so much about drills because this is not a drill. This is our dust collector. But like I was saying, you're probably like, again, girl, you have all of the drills. Like, where's the dust going? I own one of their dust collectors, so ah, I'm so glad. Mine has been through the ringer. She's all beat up. So it's really nice to have a really pretty, pretty dust collector. Um, again, Melody Susie was my second dust collector. My first one, I did not like it. It had a little bag. It was an Amazon find. Um, but it worked a little, it worked. I didn't keep it long, but this was my second and I'll sh I have her right here. So she's a little beat up. I think this is actually protein bond that fell on her. Um, I think I wiped her off, unfortunately. Um, but they are great and I wanna show you a little bit better, a little closer of a cleaner version of her. So this is how it will come if you order it. This is their updated packaging. So really, really pretty. You have your US, um, adapter port for your charger um, or not your charger sorry this is not cordless you do need to plug it in maybe they'll work on a cordless one hopefully hopefully soon but again remember cordless things it, you need a pretty big motor to suck that much air up right so that might be pretty bulky you have to think of all these things when coming to cordless but um look at this I'm sorry let me bring you in look how shiny she is oh, she's gorgeous Oh, I love this dust collector. Now, there is um, downfalls to this dust collector. There's pros and cons, that's the word I was looking for, pros and cons. Um, but let's talk about the pros and then, because I've worked with this dust collector for, oh my now, I wanna say probably almost my whole YouTube channel, my whole YouTube channel career. So I think I've um, just passed a year going on a year and a half now or so um <laughs> it's been a little bit so a little bit i've used her and it, that was the same one never had no problems so she's lasted quite a long time i just messed her up but these are the filters um they do last a long time as well you can buy them from amazon or off of their website so pretty easy you would just tap it out oh, not over there but like tap it out on your garbage or something what i love to do actually to be honest it works really well i have a little baby vacuum and i just vacuum it out works great and then I empty the vacuum in the garbage right all this works perfectly there's your suction now if this is in incorrectly your system will not start up so it's kind of cool like that so if you're just not working and you're like oh my god what's working probably just grab your filter see make sure make sure your lid is on tight or correctly and you want to line up your little guys really and that's how and then you know she'll work um, what I'm going to do, it has the, the charger that it just came with, but I have my charger and I think the same type of thing. So this is the charger for mine that I just leave on the side. And here is the charger. Now with your buttons on the Melody Susie, they're actually over here on the side. Now I'm going to just unplug it for one sec here. They're very flush. So you don't have no big bulky buttons. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something. That's great, right? Great that they're flush. Oh, look at that. So easy. 
So this is how it would sit ideally or opposite because if your client was, put it like this, I would be your client and that would be you over there or on the sidelines of the court. So very, again, very touchy. I find when I'm working, I can just, I don't know, like I touch this thing. If I put the charging port this way, say I, I'm me now, not the client. I literally like my chest have touched it before it she gets it can be a little annoying I'm not gonna lie the the, the sensitivity of it thank you <laughs> the sensitivity of her is very um, she's delicate she's very sensitive I, I don't know I think it's kind of annoying but that could just be me and a personal preference but other than that and I legit mean other than the sensitivity of the buttons on the side I love this dust collector. I think she works great. She really does suck in a lot of the dust. I use uh, hard gel, gel. So the dust is very fine uh, with gels because it's just a softer product. So this does really, really well. And like I said, the filters last quite a bit. Obviously, the the more you clean your filter and that, the better the suction you will get. It's just a thing, right? But I'll show you quick. So it's pretty safety proof as well. So say she's on. Oh, and I do apologize, there's two speeds. So that is your first speed, it's your highest speed. I'm not gonna lie, she's not the quietest. She's a little loud, that might be a downfall for some people. Uh, when I film, I guess it can be, right? It can be annoying, so this part, normally I'd have to voice over. Thoughts, thought things are, thoughts are things, so. She does have a little bit of a quieter mode, which works really well as well. So say whatever, you leave it on. I always leave mine unplugged. I leave it in a drawer. She fits great in the Alex drawers as well. But let's just say you just, I don't know, actually just took the lid off. <laughs> I didn't touch the button. I, I, I do promise it's sensitive and that, that's a possibility. But do you see how she's blinking? It's because you took the lid off. So it's just a little safety feature and then it'll go back on. Kind of cool, right? I like that. And then you do have your suction out of here. Uh, I don't know if something like... I don't know if we can do that on the side. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I guess I didn't remember we're not sucking up paper. But I love her. Cause I own her, but I do love to have a fresh, clean one. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know. She's she's just pretty, and I want to enjoy the prettiness of it. Um, so this is the new edition. So my little baby has a little brother or sister. <laughs> so thank you again, Melody Susie, and I'm going to be doing. I think I'm gonna do hard gel next on my nails. Uh, with a little bee design so I'll definitely be using this and I will use the brand new one I'll show you guys how she works um, and all her glory but for now I'm just gonna keep her in that you can know exactly if you were to buy one how a brand new one would work for you um, but again if you watch any of my videos I use my old one all the time so she works just as good I would assume I will test it brand new versus what a year and a half old Okay, last but definitely not least, we have Born Pretty. Now, I've actually already used these in a design and the video is out. If you're interested, go check that out. But I wanna just kinda of swatch them with you and show you the colors a little bit more in depth because I just didn't do that in that video. Okay. So, first things first, let's look at JN27. So this is a nice milky kind of orange. I feel like it looks more yellow on advertisement again. But I, I guess it's really hard to match in pictures too, right? So this is one coat. We'll do two coats of the jelly so you can kind of see. Um what is this? So this is their milky white. And again, guys, I do have a discount code with Born Pretty. And I believe literally as I'm speaking, they have like a 
30% sale going on. So go take advantage of that. Like don't feel no ways of getting using that code over my code. Um, save your dollars. But go definitely go check them out because I know they have sales going on like right right now. And there we are. So you see through it. Like that's a milky white. So these are great if you put over florals for milk bath nails. Stamping over milk bath, like that looks or over a milky white. I think it looks so pretty. We're just gonna do one coat of that one. Now here, okay, so this is CG14. Now, okay, these are pretty chunky glitters. I've worked with these a little bit, and these I do feel you're gonna get your best capsulation or working very, very thin in layers to get what you want out of it. I am just going to literally pull it in this nail. Never do this on your nail. Never, ever, 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 ever. I'm doing this legitly for swatch <laughs> purposes only. But very thin layers, a couple coats. If you want me to show you exactly how to work with the chunkier gel polish let me know we can do a complete separate video on that if you have struggles I'll grab a few different ones and we'll go through it we'll do a dedicated but just for the color purposes of what you can get this is exactly what you can get out of it when you to achieve this all you would do is encapsulate it you would put this down put a gel acrylic um, a poly gel also would work clear of course over top file and then you'll get this beautiful look of that or go over it with a top coat buff it down go over it again you could also do it that way so there's a little few different ways to work with a chunky glitter you can kind of pick through and literally place placing glitter works really really well um, placement of chunky glitter works well cg118 again this is a chunky one this was chunkier than the last so i'm going to do the same thing again for swatch um or for video purposes only. Don't do this on your nail. You will definitely have curing issues. It's way too thick and it's going to be too dark. The light will not penetrate through that. So even if you want this for your proper swatch, do it in a couple layers. I might have to do this one actually in two layers too because I really want that true essence. but. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty good in my books. So here we are. Like, look at that. That is crazy. It has like a black background, but then it has like a brassy kind of copper vibe, but then you get like a holographic, so you're really getting like all the different tones. Oh, super cool. Again, you're gonna get the best, best look out of this um, encapsulated. We have this is the jelly green. Oh. Yeah, the jelly green. So this is NJ. <laughs> Why do I want to go backwards? JN28. And this is what I used in the design. And I'm just going to show you how this looks with one and two layers. I layered it up pretty good in my design. I like the way it turned out. I know I need practice, guys. I need more practice. It's hard to do it all, though. It's hard to practice and have a channel. Because when you have a channel, it's not just nail art. There's a hole to it. I don't have anybody to edit my videos for me, so I have to do it all. You know what I mean? Okay, pop that in the lamp, and then we'll do two coats on that. So let's go quickly back and do a, another jelly. Okay, so here are the five beauties. They're so gorgeous. I think I got something in that jelly, the green one, but that was my mistake. Um, again, with the milky white, you can still see through it. The more uh, layers you go, you can definitely whiten it up, but you kind of want it. That's kind of the whole point of it. So really, really pretty. So last but certainly not least, I have a, just want to kind of show you guys a little my own PR. So just how um, our custom glitters come if you order from BR Pop-Up Shop. So, these gloves, they're so funny. So, BR Pop-Up Shop is mine and Jess's little shop. Uh, right now, you can order from us. All There's all that will be in the description below. 
Um, but yes, this is how they come. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what they are so you guys can order some. So we have beautiful bags that you can get. So these are called treat bags, as well as we have some crystal bags. These are really pretty. Now we have a little gooch. You can get them. They're very affordable, a couple bucks. And with all orders until supplies last, you'll get a Funfetti bag for free just as a little appreciation, which is just a whole whack of different things, which is great for our, um, I know it's a lot guys, sorry. It's great for our game. We play a design at Nail Cards and uh, our group, BR Nail Talk. So we get a little weird little things that come up like caviar beads and like just little things. So this I thought would be just excellent actually to get your hands on. So as supplies last when you order, um, the first, however many, will get a little treat bag in it, so that's fun. So I'll just show you guys what is in the crystal bag first. Oh, I changed my studio, guys. Sorry. So my dishes are over here now. Okay, so I just got a little um, container to show you guys. Now, again, these are our crystal bags. Now, fun thing about these is... 50% of the proceeds of these actually go towards our game and what we do in BR Nail Talk and all the giveaways that we do over in the group um, and hopefully soon more on the channel as well. Once I can get less busy, I can. It's a little harder to do giveaways on the YouTube channel, so it's a little bit more work you have to put into them because um, there's just a lot more fake people out there realistically. Um, so it's easier to do giveaways in our group and stuff like that, so I do kind of do a lot more over there. So shipping is a pain. So half the proceeds will go towards that for shipping which we I mean, need all the help we can get with shipping and if actually if you do want to donate we do have um, links where you can donate to us as well thank you so much um, to everybody who has already donated and stuff you can actually send nail goodies and um, which goes a long way because we give them out as um, as treats and that's the prizes when you play games when we do it in our group I can hear blue in the background making so much noise so these are some of the crystals in the little crystal bag and it's just a mixture and i've gone through these these are i if you were to get one broke oh my god i'll cry because i swear i picked through these like hand picked through these to make sure that they are good and we just have a variety of different things we have a little chanel in there we have these beautiful like um butterflies like look at that wing i don't even know we do have some swarovskis um vintage swarovskis um, again, these were sent to us, and thank you so much. And we did, we used some of the stuff, um, and that's why, again, we're using proceeds to help out, because we do get a lot of stuff that you guys do donate that's, um, um, product, which is amazing, but the shipping is so silly. So we try to repurpose some stuff that we can, and that, this was one of the little things. So we took out a couple, um, there is a few of them in there, not gonna lie, um, uh, but we, most of these we did have to go and purchase. So we did make sure that we got, like, good quality... Um, the Strass, we have some Strass um, crystals in there, we have some Chanel, some Louis Vuittons. Every bag is going to be different. Again, there is some uh, vintage Swarovskis in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you know who you are. Um, they made that even possible, right? <laughs> so these little guys are vintage Swarovskis, like with the gold backs. And then we just have some just different like charms and crystals. Again, we have some Gucci down there. Um, Again, I can't say, I, really I tried everything to be glass. All the crystals like this are either glass or Swarovski. But like these little, um, any crystals on a charm, guys, I can't control that. We did try to get really good ones, but they're they're probably just whatever, right? So, but if they find individual ones, they are all either like glass or like the Strass ones. Like these are Strass ones, or like I said, Swarovski. So, but like a charm like that, for instance, I can't say that's glass on the inside of that, to be honest, so. That's just some that was in that bag. I, don't know. I get lost in it. I can just like look at it and be like, OMG. Sorry. So those are the little bags. We did a live scoop um, on them, which is kind of fun. I think some got some extra scoops. I'm not gonna lie. That's hard to do a live scoops. You want me to scoop? Talk to y'all. Make conversation and then just still remember how many scoops I was doing. That's not gonna work. I'll do that off camera. Sorry, that's gonna fall and I don't want it to fall. Um, oh, and last but not least, should I show you guys what's in this just because I think it's really fun? Um, let me show you quickly. I'll just use this guy. 
so this is like I said limited edition you're only gonna get them they come free with all orders any order if you just order a bling bag you'll get one free as long as the supplies last right so and remember guys or I don't know if I said it I apologize the pop-up shop that we created this is a pop-up so we did a very small run a very few so trust get them while they last um, because we already have some of that are already sold and pre-ordered you can pre-order as well we are accepting that but that package is on this way to where it needs to be for our product to be shipped out. So sooner than later, you won't even have to pre-order. You can just order it and it'll get shipped out. So here's the little fun bag. Like I said, this is a free product. This is just what you'll get if you order. But I still think it's really good to play and enjoy the game and just try a different nailer that you might not try. That's really what I wanted for everybody. So that was the concept behind my stuff you just might not buy, right? I don't know if that was the best idea either, but last but certainly not least, and then I'll let you guys go because, well, my apologies, this got longer than I thought. Um, here is our treat bag, so that's what we call them, there's glitter treat bags. Um, so it comes 12 in a bag, and this is how you'll receive it. <laughs> It's true, it will cause extreme happiness, please be warned. Um, you'll notice some of them have different color hearts. That was just for us, for behind the scenes. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, well, it actually means that they're different one in each bag. So each heart means that they're different. So if you get like, hopefully you never get the two same hearts, but that if you did, you would, pro you would know ahead of time because we would tell you that. Um, so we really organize it so if you get multiple bags, we know how to separate them so you don't get the same two bags. We don't want you to get repeat glitters. We really try to organize it like that. Um, so we're just gonna undo the bag. Cute, cute. And then that is how it would come. Just gonna take a couple out. Again, these are all very um, randomly picked, but we did try to keep it in mind, right? Again, the way we had a little system. <laughs> so you don't get the same ones. We really don't want you to get, you know, buy multiple bags. Oh, and if you buy three bags, also a reason why we wanted to do it that way you can get three bags for $25 or sorry three bags for $20 each so it's $60 or they're 25 each a bag so that's one thing about these you can get a little bit of a deal this is called hazard oh she's pretty I love that glitter the camera does not do this glitter justice I promise you it does have like matte little matte glitters in it as well um, all of the glitters are multiple sizes, so there, we don't have any finds yet. Um, I think we'll definitely do a fine run though. That is on our list. We just want to really want the good feedback. We want to we want to see what you guys think, right? Like so. Once all that said, and then we'll see what the next one's gonna hold. So all of them are just mixed sizes right now. So this is deep blue. This one is gorgeous. It has legit dolphins in it. Little um, little like sea turtles. But there is a lot of glitter in there as well so as much as you get a lot of these chunkies if you're not a chunky person i understand but you do can and pick out the glitter i've i've actually shown it on a few of my videos how to pick out the glitter the smaller ones um but the, the big ones are great for when you want to encapsulate right and then this is called the dazzle so this legit is just gorgeous <laughs> I love this one. It's just, oh, I love them all, honestly. I would say I love them all. I've gotten into the question that I, I feel like it's kind of cool to answer it if I ever made a glitter I don't like. There's some that I, I like more than others. That's for definitely for sure, even in this collection that we've done. I've always had fun making glitter, um, just mixing my own glitter, like even on lives and stuff. Never thinking of actually really taking it serious because it definitely is not easy. <laughs> It can go muddy very, very fast on you, I find glitter. And that's the thing about fine glitter. Fine glitter should tricky, but we'll see. So that was Punky and let's go Baby Joker. So these are just some, I'm not gonna go through and show you guys all. There is a lot of different mixes. Um, I think in total there was 50, oh my God, 52, 50 something, low 50s. There was a low 50s of different, um, however many different ones. And right now, I think it's still going. We actually have an auction going in our Facebook group for you to get your hands on the whole collection. Like legit one of every glitter that we got. Um, the auction is still live, so go over there if you're interested and, you know, maybe get a hold of a little baby. Because I think we have it going till like Tuesday or something. 
something like that. I do know a lady that may not be so happy if you go over there and outbid her because she is, she does have the highest bid. <laughs> so she might not be so happy with you if you do that, but um, I'm sorry. <laughs> BR nail pop up, so BR pop up, I guess. It's kind of what we're calling it for now. We'll see. And then these are just some little Gucci bears. These are just like two bucks, guys. Honestly, again, they're great for the design thing, but I think they're cute. We've never worked with them. They're very big. They're kawaii, if you don't know, I'm into kawaii. They're fun sets just to practice, right? We don't have to wear every nail art that we do. So we can do other stuff that's maybe out of our norm or out of our comfort zone just as to try it, you know, up our skills. That's what it's really about. Trying different products will allow you to expand um, your knowledge and your skill set. So thoughts are things, thoughts are things. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed these goodies and a huge thank you guys again to the one and only Madam Glam, <laughs> the one and only Born Pretty, and the one and only Melody Susie. You guys are literally been in my studio since pretty much day one. <laughs> uh, I do love the brand, so thank you so much, and thank you again for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate it. And a huge thank you to my partner um, for our glitter store, Jess. Um, like I said, our BR pop-up, so Blue Rose pop-up shop. Again, we're just going to come in here and there and give you guys some fun stuff to want to buy <laughs> and play with, right? So I hope you guys will consider um, t checking out that thing. We don't really have a storefront. I don't, I didn't want to do a storefront, to be honest. Um, not yet. I don't think, I don't know if that's the way I want to go with it. Um, for now, we're just doing, um, so just DM one of us. Her link will be in the description and my link. You guys know my link. So just DM us if you're interested. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you're interested why I didn't go that way, I think I did say it, but I can say it again or say it more direct in a, in, in a different video, of course. But um, we're just going to leave it at that for today. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.